Hey everyone, so here we are, question number 47. Uh, we did a very similar one in class, uh, but just to review it and review some of the concepts here, we'll, we'll do that now. Okay, so if we take a look at this uh, question, a 75 kilogram parkour, so someone who does parkour, uh, jumps off a 10 meter building onto a pile of sand with a landing velocity of 14.7 meters per second. If we would look back at what we did uh, in the first half of the class with our uh, uh, free fall uh, objects and acceleration at gravity and distance to time, we'll find that that value is um, is pretty close. Uh, the first time they land with legs outstretched and my, uh, a minor knee bend, so they have a, a fairly short abrupt landing time. Uh, the second time they rolled for a landing time of three seconds, so quite significantly longer. Um, what is the difference in force felt? Okay, so when we're hearing things like force and time and um, we, we see some mass, you know, there's some velocity involved, you know, we can start adding up these variables, you know. So what do we have? Well, we have force. That's what we're looking for. Well, that we got some time involved as far as the landing. We have some, uh, we have some mass. Right, and we have a velocity. So if we look at our equation sheet and try to see what fits. We'll see that what we have is our impulse, um, uh, our impulse equation, essentially momentum. So what we do when we look at this, well, um, really when we're looking at the variables of change, and again, uh, if you were to do this yourself, we can just sorry. I'll, I'll go back a step. We can collect all our variables here. So we could say like mass is 75 kilograms. Um, we have two times, so T1, T2, or we could even uh, try to track that along and be a bit more specific. So we say T, um, straight leg landing is one second. T roll is three seconds. Um, and we know the the velocity final that this this impact is occurring at is 14.7 meters per second. So with all this information, um, we're pretty much ready to to start and and plug in and stuff. But again, we're 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 kind of looking at this equation. It's not quite where we want it to be yet, right? We're, we we want to isolate for force. So to do that, what we're going to do is we need to get time over underneath mass and the change of velocity. So we're going to divide both sides. So what we're going to find is we're going to have our force equaling the mass by velocity final minus velocity initial, which will just be zero. And then or the velocity initial is zero, not the velocity final over the uh, change in time. OK, and that's our equation. So now we can essentially find our uh, values for the two different situations, scenarios, and uh, the, uh, plug in our variables, uh, our known variables. So mass, 75 kilograms in both scenarios. Velocity final um, is, is 14.7 uh, meters per second, but uh, the initial, because they're at a standstill before they started moving, was zero. So the the change in velocity is just 14.7 meters per second. And then the time in our first situation is 0 0.1 seconds. When you calculate that all out, what we get is, oh, um, sorry, 11,025 newtons. That's the force on the first scenario. And then we'll go to a second scenario. Again, it's the same, same equation, just computing it with different values. Um, still the same final velocity before when they hit the sand pile because it's the same height at which they're jumping from. Uh, and this time, three seconds, that's a big change, right? Obviously, when we divide something by a, a vastly greater number, we're going to vary by magnitudes, smaller, smaller value, 0.5 newtons, or, or you could say uh, 368 newtons in that case. But again, sometimes the last step that, that people miss is this right here. Okay, what is the difference? It's not just saying calculate that, 
but it's also saying what is the difference. So if we got that far, we might as well finish all the way. Uh, let's just pick a new color for the combination. So we're going to take these two values, subtract them from one another to find the difference in forces felt. And when we do that, we get 10,657 newtons. Uh, that was 0.5, so I guess it'd be 0.8 newtons, and so that is that is the change or the difference between the two, and you know that's fairly significant when you're talking about 10,000 newtons. You know that's kind of equivalent to um, like about a, a thousand kilograms, roughly, or if you work better in pounds as far as weight, that's about like feeling. Um, Sorry, 22, that was too many zeros there, just two zeros, 2,200 um, pounds, right? It's pretty significant, you know, 2,000 pounds, uh, as far as the amount that goes through the body and the difference between uh, stopping with uh, straight legs and trying to land versus rolling, okay? And that's question number 47.